Good morning, dear friends. This is Bishop John Quinn of the Diocese of Winona, Rochester, and I welcome you to this televised liturgy. Good morning, everyone. My name is Father Bill Coolis. I'm a retired priest of the Diocese of Winona, Rochester, and we are here today at St. Mary's Parish in Caledonia. We welcome all of you here, especially those who are watching us on TV and on the internet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension of our Lord, a reminder to us that God has brought his Son back to himself, and by doing so, he takes his place, reigning over the world with us. We call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Glend us with holy joy, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your Son, is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be witness in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way 
as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is a great king over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets of the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpets blast. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise, give reins over the nation. God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore it says, He ascended on high and took prisoners captive. He gave gifts to men. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended into the lower regions of the earth? The one who descended is also the one who ascended for above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took a seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and proclaimed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't watch much television today, but when I was a kid, I remember that there would be shows that would have two episodes. One that you'd have one week and then you'd have to tune in to find out the conclusion of that episode the following week. And so you'd always be in anticipation of what was going to be the ending. It left you with a whole week of wonder. Something might be similar today to today's feast because Pentecost is next week, but this week we see Jesus go away and he disappears from us, which is a time of great joy, but by all standards should really be a time of sorrow. 
For Jesus was always there to answer questions. If someone posed something or he tried to say, to catch Jesus in it, he always had a response. But now the apostles were on their own. And so they had to go forth and proclaim the gospel of God by their own standards. They had the power of the Holy Spirit, yes, but they didn't have that till Pentecost. And so during this time, they lived in fear. They weren't sure what they were to say. It can be the same with us because we too can feel like God has abandoned us especially in these times. But really, God is with us. God is here to help us and guide us along the way. So often we become impatient and think that God has to operate on our time and he has to do things our way. But yet God works as he wills. And in the end, it is God that will make a difference. It is God that will say, I will help you. So we need not be afraid. We need not worry that God has abandoned us, but rather we should always be mindful of how much God has loved us and he will take in his time all those things that are contrary to him and wipe them out. All we need to do is to trust in God, to say, Lord, I am here to help you. And even though you are physically not here, I know that you are here in spirit and that you will help and guide me in whatever I need. That is what we all must do as the people of God. We need to hope in the Lord because the Lord is a God of hope. He always gives us those opportunities. Evils may prevail for a while and even seem like they're going to overpower us, but God always rescues us. He has done it in the past and he will do it in the future. God, Jesus had to ascend into heaven because otherwise he would just be one source in one place. Now he can be the spirit anywhere and it can help and guide us in our lives every day. So, we may, so may we not get discouraged that the Lord is dis dis has abandoned us, but rather that we are constantly here with the Lord and that in his love, he gives us his compassion, his goodness and his kindness so that we don't have to be afraid. We can live in faith rather than in fear and we can accomplish many things like the apostles did after his ascension by going into the world and doing what the things that are there that Jesus did with his apostles. All we need have is faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, the Son, who with the Father, the Son, is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With faith in the name of Jesus raised from the dead, according to the scriptures, we present our needs to the Father. For Pope Francis, Bishop Quinn, and all leaders of the church, may God guide them in their efforts to shepherd his people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may God help them see 
those whom they serve with the eyes of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, homebound, and those worried about the health of loved ones, may the Lord protect them and bring them health of mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and for holy marriages within our diocese, that those called by God may respond with joyful and generous hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died with, marked with the sign of faith, may they experience fullness of joy with God and the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers, and in your mercy fill us with what we need to do your work. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. We offer sacrifice now with supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange we too may rise to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gained in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly estate, but that we, his members, might be confident in following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these offerings, these gifts, the these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all those who holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them will we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or the offered for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and the hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, celebrating the most sacred day on which your only begotten Son of our Lord placed at, his, at the right hand of your glory on our weak human nature, which he himself, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, and the blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Lawrence, Chrysogenus, John and Paul, Cosmos and David, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. 
We please the Lord, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to you, O God, his heavenly Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the ch this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands. And once more give you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension to heaven of Christ, your Son of our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, this holy bread of eternal life, and this chalice of eternal salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and countenance, countenance, and to accept them as one true, pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, able and just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father, the faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hand of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation of the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember, Lord, our, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through us also, your servants, through those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some shared fellowship with the holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you with their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace, I leave you by peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allowed those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us up onward <clears throat> to where our nature is united to you, through Christ our Lord. Thank you all for coming today in a very special way. I'd like to thank all of the people who helped out, our lector and any others that were involved in the preparation for this liturgy today. And I'd like to thank you, especially who are watching on TV, or on the internet, especially those who are bound to healthcare facilities or are bound to your home. We want to make sure that you feel welcome. You spent much of your life helping out our parishes, and so now we want to make sure that you are not left out, but that you are part of our community, part of the love of God, and part of all things that are here. May people today stop to visit you and to give you hope and help you to realize that the Lord ascended into heaven is still here with us, helping us in every way. May we always find hope in him that he is here, waiting for us to go forth from this earth so he can welcome us in his loving arms to be with him into eternity. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you for joining us for this Sunday's televised Mass. I hope it has brought you spiritual joy and comfort this day. If this Mass has helped you or someone you know, please consider sending a donation to the address on the screen or by visiting our website at dowr.org and clicking the weekly Mass icon. Thank you and God bless.